everyone. Um, welcome to another session of FB Live hosted by CraftSpace. My name is Joey. I am a craft instructor from CraftSpace. Today, we are very happy to be here today um, in celebration of uh, the upcoming Halloween, which is tomorrow. So today, I have invited my guest or special sidekick, yeah, Mr. Skeleton here with me. So I'm not sure how many of you who joined us this morning has uh, dressed up in your best costume. Yeah, so let's see what is in for all of you, right? So today, um, with the uh, preparation, I'm pretty sure today there, there will be a lot of you who are preparing for tomorrow, uh, big event, right? Halloween has always been um, one of the um, very exciting activities or uh, very exciting event um, for us as well at Craft Space because um, every year we will have um, Halloween party, right? So we will do trick or treat. Yeah, we will do best costume competition. We will do, of course, a little bit of treasure hunting. This year, well, starting last year, in fact, uh, we can't do any of the physical activities. So that is why we have um, converted it into virtual um, party. So for those of you who are joining us tomorrow for the uh, virtual tea party, please make sure you are dressed up because definitely tomorrow we are going to have a fun time, not just uh, doing craft, but we are also doing um, a contest for best dressed yeah, or best costume, right? And then uh, please make sure you have enough sleep as well uh, because tomorrow we will have games, uh, we will have riddles, so look forward to a lot of uh, fun time together for the two hours. Now, however, today uh, we will be doing a little bit of activities here and there. So please make sure you join us until the end of the session. All right. Now, first off, what are we going to do today? Um, for those of you who managed to dress up, congratulations, because we are having a costume contest today as well. Okay. Now, for those of you who have dressed up, please type into the comment section and let us know that you have dressed up. Now, how are we going to do this contest is, for those of you who have dressed up, I need you to snap a picture of yourself. You don't need to show your face, but we need to see your costume. And then you can ask daddy or mommy to post it up onto the comment section uh, within the next half an hour. So now it's 11.03. So we will stop our contest in half an hour, which is 11.33. And then our uh, moderators will be at the side here next to me, uh, will be judging who will be the top three. If let's say we have a lot of kids, well, who knows, we will increase the price, right? Because after all, it is um, a day of happiness, a day of fun time, a day of where we give out a lot of treats. So we won't know, right? So if let's say you have not dressed up, please go and dress up now. You have half an hour to submit your pictures. Yeah, we don't have to see the kids uh, face. Yeah, we just need to see your costume. So if let's say you have hand made your costume, it is even better so that we can give you brownie points. Right. And what is going to happen also today, we are going to play some games. So please make sure you open your eyes or your op you open your ears big so that you can listen to the questions. I know today, um, we are because of the location of the, uh, um, the FB Live, so it may be quite noisy because of the music uh, background, but um, I will try to speak louder, right? Okay, Mr. Sidekick, so we are ready. Let's adjust your head, uh, your head a little. All right, so today what we are going to do, we are going to do eight carton stackables, all right? Uh, we are going to make uh, a few um, characters. Um, it may be at least three. Um, if let's say we have more time, then we can make more, right? So what are the uh, materials that we will need, right? First and foremost, we will need a lot of egg cartons, yeah? Um, paper one, if you have. Plastic one uh, will do as well. If let's say you do not have egg cartons, then you can use cups, whether it is plastic cup, uh, paper cups, 
okay? Just make sure it is um, those that is uh, used, not the brand new one. Because at the end of the day, our objective of all this Facebook Live every week is to make sure that we repurpose all the recyclable materials, all right? So that is the first thing. If let's say you do not have egg cartons, you do not have uh, plastic cups or paper cups, you can use a plastic bottle. All right, now, which part of the plastic bottle? We know that uh, over the past few weeks or past few months, we have been using a lot of uh, plastic bottles, but at the bottom part. So today, we are going to use those at the top part where the cap is, okay? So you will need the bottle, top part, together with the cap. So if you have that, it's good. Then now is the time for us to repurpose them. Just that your stackables will be much bigger compared to the egg cartons one. Because, because the egg cartons one, it is this small. Okay? But for a bottle, depending on the size that you have, some of you may have the 350 ml, some of you have the 500 ml, some of you have the 1.5 liter ml, uh, 1.5 liter, 1.5 liter. Yeah, so it depends on the size. So if um, your, the size is very big, then your stackable, the character is going to be big as well. So it depends, right? So that, that is the first thing. And then the second thing, we need uh, paint. Okay, different colors of paint. This is our paint bottle, big ones. I'm pretty sure you have a smaller bottle. Now, uh, if can, try to use acrylic paint, yeah, because um, it will stay. Um, if let's say you use paper, um, egg carton, the paper type, then um, watercolor will do or poster color will do. But if let's say you are using plastic, I will recommend you to use acrylic paint because it's oil based, so it can stay. Right. Next, of course, we will need our best companion, the scissors. Okay, this is one thing. And then after that, we will need glue. Either you use Yuhu glue or you have the glue gun. Okay. Right. Let me just adjust. Okay. And then um, you have a compass. Now the compass is for us to draw circles. If you do not have a compass, anything round will do too. Okay, so this one is for us to draw a circle only. So if let's say you don't have a compass, no worries, find something round so that you can trace the circle. And then next thing is um, if let's say you have colored paper, that will do, yeah, because uh, we will need some colored papers. Now optional, uh, you, of course you can decorate your characters after you are done uh, painting it or making it. Okay, so you can have blinks, you can have stickers, uh, you can have, I don't know, yarns, pipe cleaners, it's up to you, all right? So, um, those are the things that we will need. Now, let's see what are the characters that we are going to do. Of course, we are going to make um, those simpler characters, yeah? First, and then slowly we will move up to more complicated one, all right? So, we are going to make, let's see, um... Maybe we will do three first. If let's say we have enough time, then we will do a little bit more. Okay, so first and foremost, of course, from the uh, egg carton, we need to cut out individual bumps, okay? So when you cut out individual bumps, you can um, arrange, you can cut or trim the sides so that it is um, smooth, okay? We don't need the other sides, yeah? So this is how it will look like after you cut it. Now, for those of you who are using plastic bottle, what you need to do is, it depends on how, um, how tall you want your character to be, right? So, then you cut. But um, I think it need not be too tall because otherwise it will look a little bit uh, weird because of uh, not proportionate, all right? So, thing is, main thing is you need to be able to stack them, okay? Uh, paper cups or plastic cups, definitely you can stack them, okay? But for bottles, um, you know the bottom part, bottom part here, we cannot uh, stack. So that's why we will use the top part, because it can stack, right? Okay, uh, and make sure that it comes together with the uh, cap as well, okay? We need the cap, all right? So first, mo first off, after you cut them, we need to paint them. You may not, you may need to paint them probably um, two rounds to make the color more striking or more uh, prominent, all right? 
So it depends. Uh, if let's say you use plastic materials, definitely you will need to paint more rounds. Okay. Okay. So to uh, we will do first, we will do a ghost, and then we will do a pumpkin, and then we will do a Frankenstein. So these are the three that we will do first. So depending on the color that you want, um, for ghost, for pumpkin, and for Frankenstein. All right. So I am going to paint my ghost white. And then uh, my pumpkin, um, I will paint it um, probably orange. Yeah, because I'm reserving my purple, my favorite color. And then after that, I am going to paint my Frankenstein um, lime green color. Okay, so let's paint them first. All right, so while we paint, um, for those of you who are already dressed up, you can start to ask your mommy or daddy, to help you take a picture and then uh, start to publish up your photos uh, on the comment section, yeah. But please make sure you let us know who who is that because um, if you are um, you are not putting up your photo, we need to know the name of the kids, yeah. So please make sure you do that. Otherwise, then we won't know. Now um, we are going to announce the name for the best dress at the end of the session, all right? So at the end of this session, we will announce who are the winners, right? And what are you going to walk away? Um, a Halloween box that consists of all the uh, Halloween treats worth 60 ringgit, yeah? So that is a lot of treats inside. You can expect that, all right? So let's uh, give a quick check. Let's add our moderators. Is there anyone that uh, mentioned that they actually dressed up? So figure out, yeah, because anyhow this is um, Halloween. If you moderator asks, can they actually post comment? Of course. I'm pretty sure mommy has one Facebook account, daddy has one Facebook account. You are logged in using either mommy's or daddy's account. You have another account, right? So you can ask the other account, either daddy or mommy, to also log in to this live and then publish, right? So main thing is we need the name of the kids, right? And this is a very happy occasion. So, well, let's get mommy and daddy to join in together to have some fun. If let's say the whole family, mommy, daddy and, your, and you are dressed up, even better, okay? So it will be even a, a, a better better chance of winning. Okay. okay. So if not, then what you can do is um, there are another way of posting your photo, which is either um, you can tag craft space. Yeah. So you can tag us. Make sure you put a hashtag, yeah? What is the hashtag? Craft space MY. Okay? Craft space NY. C R A F T S P A C E M Y. Okay? So you have options, yeah? Uh, please do not send to WhatsApp because um, um, the phone are being used to monitor or to moderate. Um, the session now. So if can, please use uh, Facebook for everything, right? So my first character, my ghost is done, the first layer. So we will put it one side to let it dry and then after that we will paint the second layer. Next one is pumpkin. Okay, so pumpkin. Um, I will use orange. If you have orange color, then it is good. Then straight away you can use the orange color. Otherwise, then you need to mix color. So in order for you to mix uh, color, of course, it is one part red, two part yellow. Okay, one part red and two parts yellow. Right. So let's give it a good stir. If let's say you want a brighter or lighter orange, then you add more yellow. To make it lighter shade, right? 
So my one is not light enough. So we are going to add more. Okay. So let's paint them. Okay, so this is good. Now let's paint them. Orange. This is a very bright orange. Looks like more like red. Yeah. My one is like this. Right? Now, um, we do know that most of you are already going out. Yeah. Uh, and uh, because uh, we are already in phase four. Um, but um, do take note that wherever you go, please practice uh, proper SOP. Yeah, and also sanitize your hands, um, especially for kids. Yeah, um, if let's say you are not vaccinated for young kids, yeah, make sure please make sure you wear double mask as well as um, carry your hand sanitizers at all times. Yeah, so if you have not, you do not have access to water to wash your hand, please make sure you sanitize your hand regularly. Yeah. Um, for us at craft space, what we do is we have already um, conducting um, physical classes since two weeks ago. So what we do is we will require the kids to wear double masks as well. Um, at the same time, we we also um, encourage the kids. Yeah, uh, when they are here, they need to sanitize their hand regularly or wash their hands because we have sink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also. We only limit to um, we only limit kids yeah um, one time slot they there will only be one family to be allowed in um, the center so we have to make sure that the kids are safe yeah so that is why we only allowed one family per time slot so for those of you who are planning to come please make sure you let us know in advance so that we can block the time and day for you. Because uh, we have only a limited time uh, for us to accept walk-ins or physical classes. And our weekends so far has been having a lot of good response because uh, most of the students are coming on the weekends. Yeah? So it is always packed. Um, of course, we can uh, open up to other kids, but we are not comfortable yet because the numbers are still very high so we will still insist that we only do one family per time slot yeah so of course if let's say you are coming together with your sibling uh, your relatives or your friends if let's say they are together you are already meeting up together then we don't mind accepting accepting uh, all at once but otherwise then it will be one family per time slot right so do take note and also if you happen to be around town near Kota Damansara, uh, please come and visit us at uh, Tropicana Gardens Mall because uh, today and tomorrow we are giving out um, candies. Yeah, So do drop by and say hi and uh, to get some candies, probably to snap some pictures yeah, from the outside. Of course, if let's say you want to do some activities, then let us know. Uh, then we will, we will let you know what are the times that you can come. Right? Tomorrow we are not open for walk-ins. Yeah? Uh, only for tea party. Those who are coming for this physical tea party, then uh, yes, they are coming at 3 o'clock. So for those of you who have won um, the, con the lucky draw over the past few weeks, yeah, um, Zerlin, Zhuohao, and also uh, Jingwen, I'm pretty sure you have already received your Halloween box. Please do not open it first. Tomorrow we will open it together. Right, uh, and make sure that you are ready with your costume and uh, get ready at 3 p.m. Yeah, because uh, our tea party is going to start at 3 p.m. Right, so uh, my pumpkin is done. Next one is Frankenstein. So let's do Frankenstein. Right, so Frankenstein, um, I use lime green, which means I add green with yellow. Yeah. I add uh, one part green and two parts yellow, right, to make it sharper because I need um, the color to be more lime green, yeah. Okay, so let's see. 
Uh, okay, this green is good. So let's paint them. Okay, so it's green. All right. So this is uh, the third one, which we make into Frankenstein. Okay, so let's quickly paint them. Um, don't worry if let's say you can't um, complete it in time as what I have done. Um, today's session is more relaxed than usual because if you notice, uh, we have not um, talking about the origin of Halloween because, um, well, Halloween, the actual Halloween has already been um, converted into mm, or uh, is no longer the original version of the Halloween, why they celebrate Halloween, yeah. So that is why uh, we have decided uh, not to talk about the origin of Halloween, but more on how um, the, we can actually celebrate Halloween with um, fun and relaxed manner, yeah, rather than what the original um, Halloween is all about, all right? So while you do this, um, let's see whether we have anyone put up any photos to Nicole and Minon. Minon, okay, Nick, uh, Nicole is it? Nicole and Minon, okay, so I would presume it is Cousin and Ryder. Ah, please write your names, yeah, because otherwise then I won't know. Okay, so we need to know names as well. Okay, well, you still have time. Um, 10 more minutes, 11 more minutes for you to put up your photo. So if you have not, please make sure you put it up. Okay, so I have done three of the characters. One is green, the other one orange, and the, and the, the first one that we did was uh, white. Uh, I'm going to repaint the white when it's dry because the white color is not very sharp. Yeah, the other two I think it's fine, so I'm just going to leave it there. All right. So while waiting for the paint to dry, um, for those of you who have already completed the three characters, you can, if let's say you are not dressed up, please go and dress up. Yeah. Otherwise, or if let's say you have dressed up but have not taken the picture or have not even uh, submitted it to us and tag us, please do so now. Yeah, you have another 10 more minutes. Meanwhile, for those of you who are still with us now, um, watching this live, okay, we are going to play some games, right? So we are going to play some readers. I am going to read probably two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Okay, we may go through depending on how much time we have, yeah? So we will play some reader and let's see daddy or mommy can actually answer them, okay? So the most correct answer, okay, we probably will put up 10 questions, yeah? So the most uh, correct answer from the same family, of course, you will win um, prizes as well, yeah? So it depends on how many of you. Um, I'm not sure whether the moderators are ready. <laughs> no, not ready, okay. Yeah, today we are having a lot of activities, so that's why they are also very, very busy, yeah? Going through the comments, going through the pictures, going through... And we have to get ready of the readers, okay? So as soon as they are ready, then we are going to ask the first question. <laughs> okay, so let's see. How much have you done? Okay, good. Now, my one is not dry, so we are going to leave it there to dry. Okay, so are you all ready for the first question? If yes, thumbs up. All right, though I can't see you, but um, through the moderators, then I will know whether you are ready. Okay, so if you are ready, then we will ask the first question. Okay, ready? Okay, first question. What do you call a skeleton that makes you laugh and giggle when you are sad? Okay, um, don't think too hard because this is supposed to be funny. Yeah, the answer can be very funny. Uh, it can also be um, logical. Yeah, sometimes you don't need common sense as well. Right, so I repeat the question. What do you call a skeleton that makes you laugh and giggle when you are sad? Right, so let's see whether we have 
um, answers. Yeah. So that is the first question. What do you call a skeleton that makes you laugh and giggle when you are sad? Let's see whether we have any answers yet. No answers yet. <laughs> okay. So if you need um, the question to be repeated, just let us know so that we know that you need it. Um. Arlene? Arlene say? Fish bones. Okay. Arlene say funny bones. Kelly says fish bone. Any other answers? So what? Okay, we don't say funny bones. Silly bone. Kelly says it. Kelly says silly bone. Okay, you get one more answer. Anyone? Okay, the answer is a funny bone. Yeah, so Winon is correct. Um, Arlene is correct. Okay. Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie is also correct. Any bones? <laughs> Michael, Michael. Okay. All right. So next question. Okay, this is a good one. A zombie, a mummy, and a ghost bought a house together. It has all the usual rooms except for one. What room you will not find in their house? Okay, I repeat the question. A zombie, a mummy, and a ghost bought a house together. It has all the usual rooms except for one. What room is that? Okay, so let's see. So that is the second question, yeah? A zombie, a mummy, and a ghost bought a house together. It has all the usual rooms except for one. What room is it that you won't find? Yeah. So let's see. Kelly? Kelly say laundry room. Miku, is it? Winon and Miku says living room. <laughs> May say Lapaton. Ari said living room. Okay, so good job. Um, the correct answer is a living room. That is correct. Okay, so that is the second question. The third question, what types of roads do ghosts like to drive on? Okay, I repeat, what types of roads do ghosts like to drive on? Okay. This is a funny one. <laughs> so we will wait. Okay. So we will wait for a while and see whether there is any answer, yeah? So what types of roads do ghosts like to drive on? Do you know? No answer. Hmm. Let's see whether you have any answer, right? Since my psychic do not have any answer. All right. Any answer so far? No answer? Uh, we non say date ends. Never ending road from Kelly. <laughs> Anyone else has a different answer? Cross road. From Aline, okay. Anyone else? Michael said date road. Who? Harry? Cherry said date road, okay. The correct answer is date roads, yeah, or date ends, okay. So that is the correct answer, okay. Next question, when is it bad, bad luck to see a black cat? When is it bad luck to see a black cat? Now, I wonder why yeah, black cat is considered bad luck. 
Do you have any um, idea? If you do, let us know. I'm not sure whether our cat lover Latria is online. Maybe you can, if let's say you're online Latria, you can let us know. Yeah, why is a black cat considered bad luck? Yeah, I repeat the question. Yeah, when is it bad luck to see a black cat? Okay, when is it bad luck to see a black cat? So if you have the answer, please let us know. Chia Hoon say at night, okay. Arlene say when they cross in front of you, okay. Means the black cat cross in front of you, okay. Miku say when you are a mouse, okay. Okay, same with Winon. In the dark. Okay, Michael said in the dark, okay. Anyone? Kelly says at night. Okay, the correct answer is, of course, when you are a mouse. Who answered that correct? Quite gonna. Miku, Winon, Stephanie, okay. So if you can answer that question, good. All right. Mm. Uh, okay, the fifth question, I will do... Um, a more difficult one okay let's see whether you can answer them okay i am present but also past i am wrapped but not a gift i am named after a parent but have no children what am i i am present but also past i am wrapped but not a gift i am named after a parent but have no children what am i Long question, yeah. Long question. Okay. Let's check our egg carton. Oh, it's not dry yet. Okay. So anyone answer that question? Xia Hun says a ghost. Vinon says mommy. Kelly says mommy. Who else? Any other answers? <laughs> Arlene also says mommy. Who? May says ghost. Stephanie says mommy. All right. The, an the answer is mommy. Yeah, mommy is correct answer. Yeah. So the next question. From head down to toes, through every living being, I flow. You might faint when you see me though. What am I? Okay. From head down to toes, through every living being, I flow. You might faint when you see me though. What am I? Hmm. Some people will faint. Of course, some people may not. Okay. Some people see them very often. What am I? <laughs> Let's see. Arlene says ghost. Kelly says ghost. Michael also said ghost. Hmm. Sorry? Ow. Okay, ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, what else? Any other questions? Any other answers? Nobody got this correct. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see whether there's any correct answer. So far, we have not gotten a correct answer. Okay, it is not ghost. So that is, if let's say you answered ghost, that is not the correct answer. Okay, not owl either. All of you have it, yeah? All of us have it. Skeleton. Shadow. I repeat the question one more time, yeah? From head down to toes, through every living being, I flow. You might faint when you see me. What am I? Let's see whether there's any other answers. 
<laughs> Any other answers? Emma says shadow. Any other answers? Skeleton? No. How, how do skeleton flow? Do you know Mr. Skeleton? <laughs> okay. Well, skeleton doesn't, doesn't have it though. Mm. This, this thing, um, skeleton doesn't have it, but we do. Yeah, we do. Living being does. And some people see it more often than the others. Any other, any other answers? <laughs> okay, it is blood. Yeah, doctors see them more often than us, right? And skeleton don't have it. So it's blood. Nobody got it correct, yeah? <laughs> oh, too bad. All right. So we have done two, four, six questions. Okay, let's do another one. When does Halloween come after Christmas? We know Halloween is 31st of October, which is tomorrow. And Christmas is on the 25th of December. But in, in one area or one part or one situation where Halloween actually come after Christmas. This is a very tricky question. Yeah? So let's see if you have the correct answer. Okay. So when does Halloween come after Christmas? Let's see whether our egg carton is dry. Not completely. Um, our ghost is still very wet. Right. So any answers to the question? When does Halloween come after Christmas? If you have the answer, let us know. Yeah. Dress up contest. Costume contest. Next year, Halloween. Next year, Halloween. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, this year, Christmas, and next year, Halloween, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> we gotta go a little bit deeper. Vinon says in a dictionary. Any other? So far, how many um, participants has already uh, posted the uh, costume? Apart from Nico and Vinon? Three? Who is the, the other one? Let me write it down. Nicole, Winon, Cherry. Okay, Cherry is Ethan, right? Michael, so is Agnes. All right. Anyone else? Waiting. Okay, so you have a last chance. Yeah, our moderator said, let's give another five minutes. So now it's 11.39. You have another five more minutes to put up your photo and tag us. Yeah, please do not send um, the photo via WhatsApp, yeah, because we can't see them. Yeah, so put it up on our Facebook. Okay, so any answers? Okay, when does Halloween come after Christmas? Apart from next year, Halloween, apart from in the dictionary, any other answers? <laughs> okay, any other answers? So far? So if not, then we are going to tell the answer, okay? Announce the answer. Anyone still have? Okay, so the last answer was dictionary, right? So that is from Harris, is it? Who who answered the question? Who answered that question? Yeah. We non. Okay. We non Arlene Michael Stephanie. You are correct. So it is in the dictionary. Okay. So Halloween come after. Christmas because Christmas is C, Halloween is H. 
Yeah, so you will you will see Christmas first in a dictionary, then only Halloween. Of course, we are referring to the physical uh, dictionary, yeah, not the Wikipedia or the digital type. Because if let's say it is digital, you can just type the word and then it will come out, right? So we are talking about the physical physical dictionary, yeah. All right. So next one. Hmm. Let's choose one. Okay. Some people believe in me and others don't. At night, I roam around and sometimes I float. If you hear a troubled noise coming from the ground, go run and hide from my creepy sound. What am I? Okay. <laughs> Moderator says, so easy. <laughs> yeah, so easy. Okay, so I repeat the question. Some people believe in me and others don't. At night, I roam around and sometimes I float. If you hear a troubled noise coming from the ground, go run and hide from my creepy sound. What am I? Okay, let's wait for the answer. Ghost from Harry's. Ghost. So, ghost. Uh, owl. Okay. Easy, isn't it? The correct answer is the ghost. That's right. Okay. Mm. Okay, how many questions we have already asked? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, two more questions, okay? So, we'll do another two more questions. No matter what type you are, when I'm thirsty, I will come and find you no matter where you are. What am I? Okay, I repeat. No matter what type you are, when I am thirsty, I will come and find you no matter where you are. What am I? Okay. So, egg carton is almost dry. A little bit more. Not the white one though, the white one is still very, very wet. Kelly says vampire. What else? <laughs> Stephanie also says vampire. Nicole says vampire. Right? So the correct answer is vampire. Good job. Okay. So that is a nice question. Mosquito. <laughs> well, it is true too. Yeah, it is true also. But uh, we will take vampire as the correct answer, yeah, because it's Halloween. Right? Okay, next question. Um, what can be sour, sweet, hard, or soft all at once? What can be sour, sweet, hard, or soft all at once? Mm. This one is very easy. Okay, all of us have it before whether we are old or young yeah so what can be sour sweet hard or soft all at once michael say sweet okay tongue <laughs> stephanie say sweet Okay. Arlene says tongue. Lillian says tongue. Okay, the correct answer is actually candy or sweet. Yeah. So candy or sweet. So uh, let's give. We have already done ten questions. Let's give the uh, moderator some time to compound. See who has the most correct answer. Yeah. And also we are going to continue with our workshop. Okay, since most of them are dry. Right. So let's get ready. So we will need both, yeah, uh, the readers as well as the costume ones. Okay. So let's let's go through the uh, egg carton. Yeah, or any one of you actually did with uh, 
uh, plastic bottle. Now, if let's say you want to paint the inside part, also can, yeah. So it's up to you. Um, but for me, I will only paint the outside to save time, yeah. If let's say you want to decorate it for tomorrow, please paint the inside. It looks nicer, all right. So let's see which one is dry. Okay, um, we are going to do the um, um, pumpkin first, yeah, because my white color is not dry yet. Okay, so pumpkin, what we do is we are going to add leaf and then uh, I am going to add a uh, witch hat as well. And then of course the eyes, the nose as well as the mouth, yeah. So this one, um, we will need either um, marker pen, black color. And also, I, if let's say you do not want to use a black marker pen, you can use black paint, yeah, for the eyes, the mouth, and the nose. Otherwise, then you can use black color paper. Yeah, um, for the wish hat, we, we are going to use colored papers. So you can also get ready your colored papers, yeah. So how do we do the witch hat? First and foremost, we need to trace a circle. That is why we need a compass or um, something round so that we can trace a circle. It depends on how big the, the, the wish hat that you want to be. Some of you may want it very, very big. Some of you may not want it big. Depends on also how big um, the character is. Yeah. So for me, I am not going to do a very big one yeah, because our character is very small. So I will use a, a small cap, um, the size that I have, if let's say you are using um, egg carton, so the size you can actually take probably about diameter, yeah, we are talking about diameter, about 6 cm. So 6 cm diameter, trace the circle, and then after that you cut, right? So how do you cut? You cut the circle out, and then after that we need to cut one quarter out. Yeah, one quarter out. So this is like a Pac-Man now. Okay. So this is my um, black colored paper. So I've already traced the circle and then cut out the circle. And then after that, I cut out um, one quarter. Now, how do you actually know how much is one quarter? You just fold half and half. Okay. And then after that, when you open, then you see the fold line. You just cut one, one part out. All right. And then after that, you just roll it to make it a cylinder. Okay? It's difficult when I wear black and I'm doing black color. Right? Okay? So a cylinder like this. Right? And then after that, we can stick it on. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun so it's faster. Okay, so we stick it on. And then after that, at the bottom, you can use a um, cereal box or you can cut out a piece of another piece of round um, circle, okay, a round circle and then after that, you just stick it on. Okay, so we are going to do that. So we take the uh, black paper again and then we are going to draw a circle. Right, and we are going to cut out the circle. So this is for the base yeah, of the hat. This one, if let's say you want it to be thicker and uh, sturdier, so you can use cereal box and then after that, you cut out a circle and paint it black. Otherwise, then you can straight away cut out a piece of um, black color paper as well. Right? So a circle like this will do. And then after that, um, you just put glue at the bottom of your cylinder that you did just now, okay? Put glue and then after that, you just stick on to the, the other circle that you have just cut just now, yeah? In the middle, okay? So we just stick it on to the middle like this, okay? Let me just show you quickly. So this is how it looks like, a tiny little hat. Of course, if let's say you have yarns or you have ribbons, you can put it here, yeah? And then after that, you are just going to attach on to your pumpkin. So we put some glue on and then stick it on. So the pumpkin, um, you can stick it slanted, you can stick it um, straight, it's up to you how you want to decorate it. So this is the pumpkin so far, 
right? I leave a little bit of space because I want to put a leaf. Yeah, so this is how. And then after that, you can either um, cut the um, cereal box, a leaf shape, using the cereal box and paint it green, or you can use a green, a green colored paper and you cut a tiny leaf. Yeah, so we will do just one leaf. If you want to do vine, you can use a uh, pipe cleaner as well. Yeah, so pipe cleaner is good choice because uh, it can actually, you can actually make into a spiral. Yeah. Okay, so depending on how big the leaf that you want to be and what shape you want to be, I am just going to cut a simple leaf shape like this and then stick it on. Right, so we are going to stick it on here, like this. Okay, you see the leaf. Okay, next we are going to draw the eyes, the mouth, and the nose. Okay, so where are we going to draw it? In the middle, of course. I'm going to cut another small leaf. Otherwise, it doesn't look as proportionate. Right, let's quickly cut one more. And then stick it on. Okay, so two leaves. I put on two leaves underneath the head. And then after that, I am going to draw the eyes using a marker. Here's my marker. So eyes is uh, very simple. It's upside down triangle. And then the nose is the right side up triangle. Means that the tip of the pyramid is um, on the top. So upside down means the tip yeah, of the pyramid is at the bottom, right? So let's just quickly draw one. One eye, two eye, and then my nose and a mouth. Mouth, you can make it small, you can make it scary, you can make it any um, any shape that you want, yeah? And then after that, you just have to paint it black. Or you use a marker to fill up. Okay? You can make it angry as well. So, my pumpkin is done with a wish hat. Right? So, pumpkin with a wish hat is done. So, this is the first one. And we are going to put it one side. Now, let's go to the next one. Let's see whether our ghost is done. Ghost is almost done. Let's put it one side first. We do our Frankenstein first. So Frankenstein, we will need um, the black hair. So the top part, we may need to paint it black. Yeah. And then after that, we are going to add on the eyes as well as some eyebrows. Right. So let's draw the funny hair first. So what we do with the funny hair is basically you just draw zigzag. Yeah. You just draw zigzag and then after that you just go around it okay so you don't need to be neat yeah this part you don't need to be neat you just need to make it funny okay right so we quickly draw some and then after that i am going to use paint because it is much faster let's use some Black paint and then paint it. Okay. So let's paint them quickly. You don't have to paint a lot, yeah, just add a, a bit of the top part and then make it um, black. Right? 
Then after that, if let's say you have googly eyes, then it will also be good. Otherwise, then you can put up, um, uh, do the eyes with a colored paper. Of course, you will need white and black color paper for the eyes. Right. Okay, so my um, hair is done. So you can see the top part is, the round it is all black, okay? So around it is all black. You can see? Yeah. So we will put it one side. And then now we will get ready the eyebrows, yeah? So eyebrow, there are two options as well. If let's say you have colored paper, we need black colored paper. Otherwise, then you can cut out a strip, yeah, a tiny strip of um, cereal box and then paint it black. Okay, so we don't need a lot. What we need is, let's see whether we have any recycled ones. I remember seeing some. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we do is we cut out some of it. Okay, like this. And then after that, I think it is a little bit too big. Then I am going to cut it smaller. And I am going to cut it into two. Okay, I am going to cut it into two. And I am going to put it up onto my egg carton. One uh, at the top and one at the bottom like this. Okay, so it's going to be very small. So I will stick it first, then after that I will show you, yeah, so it's easier. Alright. Now of course, if let's say you are using a um, um, plastic bottle, then you can make it more, uh, much bigger, yeah, so it's, it looks nicer. For decoration, of course, um, the bigger the better, because you can actually see it. But if let's say you want to play with it, then of course, um, smaller is better, yeah. So you can just stick like this, right? One at the top and one at the bottom. So one, the top one is actually the eyebrow and then the bottom one is actually the mouth, okay? So once done, then we will take googly eyes or you can actually do the um, cut out um, tiny circles from white paper as well as black paper. Otherwise, then you can use um, cereal box, cut out uh, circles, and then after that, you can use um, paint to paint them, okay? Uh, white and black. So take two sizes or make two sizes to make it crazy. Okay, so let's see. I am My one is super big and one is super small. I am going to stick it on. Let me just show you quickly. Okay, and the other one. Okay, so basically my Frankenstein is done, right? So, of course, if let's say you want to draw the um, a little bit more, then you can draw at the side, yeah? So, what you do is you can put up stitches. Just Frankenstein, it comes with stitches as well. So, you can put a bit more on both sides. One, two, three. Okay. And if let's say you want to put up the one next to the ear, also can. So this is how I draw it, okay, both sides, I have it, okay, so Frankenstein is done, next, let's do, let's see my goals, my goals is very simple, at the end of the day, it's just two eyes and a mouth, right, um, this one you can actually draw or you can actually put up uh, with colored paper as well, so you can do same size eyes with black color paper or you can use black marker and draw it and then a mouth. Okay, 
let me just quickly cut some and then stick it on because I've cut some um, just now. Okay, mine eyes I put two different sizes because I like my things crazy. Yeah, after all, it is Halloween, so it should look funny, crazy, and scary. All oh, scary. Some kids do not like scary stuff. Yeah, so let's make it funny and cute. Okay, as simple as this. And we are done. Right? It's a happy ghost. We can make it angry ghost too because we also have some angry ghosts around. Yeah, so as to be a little bit more balanced. Okay, so we have done three. Um, of course, you can do a little bit more if you want. Yeah, we can do bat, we can do spider. I know some of you do not like spider. Yeah, but you can do cute spiders. Um, you can also do witch. Yeah, we don't have time to do the witch, but if let's say you can, uh, please do witch. Um, what we do is, this uh, today, if let's say you have other designs yeah, that you have done, since you have already put up all the uh, materials, might as well do a little bit more, yeah? Uh, rather than just three so what you do is once you're done you can uh, post it up and share it with us by tagging us as well so that uh, we can also share out to all our followers yeah um, we, we would love to see all the masterpiece right so after this if all dry you can actually stack them together okay of course the one with um, extra stuff you should put it at the top yeah so like for us um, our Pumpkin has the uh, head, so it goes at the, at the top, okay? So if let's say you have um, a bat, it should also go at the top because bat has the wings, right? And um, if let's say witch, if you do witch with a uh, witch hat, also at the top. Then you can actually stack it up. Now, if let's say it doesn't really stack up, if it stack up but then you can't see the rest of the characters, what you do is you add things on top. How to add things? You can use a cereal box, uh, cut strip or cut a piece out and then stick out uh, some, uh, roll it into paper roll and then stick it up. Yeah. Or if let's say you have those uh, plastic bottles, extra plastic bottles, you can actually stick up and then it can stack. Right? Then you can see all of them together. Okay? So basically, uh, we are going to stop here with three because it's already 12 Do we have so we are going to announce the winner for the um, um, costume yeah as far as readers right are they ready uh, not yet <laughs> okay so let's get give them a little bit more time um, because today we have so many activities at the same time right now uh, we are not going to do lucky draw today yeah uh, so because we have the best costume as well as the uh, readers um, so we will only do these two for today and then now for those of you who are keen to visit us or pay us a visit at uh, craft space um, we are located at Tropicana Gardens Mall currently we are open for physical classes but uh, it has to be by appointment basis yeah so please let us know if let's say you want to come this to today and tomorrow, if you want to drop by, please come and say hi to us and also uh, to get some treats from us. Yeah, we will promise. We promise you that there is no trick. Yeah, it's only treats. So of course, um, if let's say you are coming out since you are already in your costume, yeah, you can come because uh, as far as I'm concerned, Tropicana Gardens Mall is having a uh, um, Halloween costume um, uh, as well contest yeah uh, as well so you can actually um, find out more information uh, from the uh, concierge or info counter yeah because um, they are also giving up attractive prizes right so let's see any any results let me just write it down let's go for the uh, best costume first oopsie let's do best costume or anyone who actually dress up gonna be fun I have not seen all the photos but um, 
we will get permission from your parents yeah um, whether we can actually um, put up the Venus especially yeah for the best costume on social media yeah let's see do we have all the names <laughs> now all the moderators are very busy because they are discussing so I would presume that all the uh, entries are very attractive or very interesting because it took them quite some time to decide who should win yeah so they are not ready yet <laughs> So remember, when you're done, uh, please take a picture of your masterpiece and share it with us. We would like to have a look at them. Um, again, for those of you who are um, participating in our tea party tomorrow, you will expect a uh, Google Meet link by today uh, to be sent to your parents. So if you do not receive it, please let us know so that we can send it. Yeah, uh, but by end of today, all right? Um, we have a few sessions tomorrow for tea party. Morning session is a very private session. Uh, and then afternoon session is uh, a more relaxed and open and fun sessions. Uh, we also have um, physical as well as online because some of the kids, we have, I think a few kids that, that are coming, confirmed coming for the tea party. So we are also welcoming them. Uh, we are going to put it, them into separate rooms or separate location with proper distancing so that they can also enjoy it physically. Because when you come here physically, then it is more fun, yeah? Because uh, it is more engaging. Uh, we have the instructors um, to guide them uh, step by step. At the same time, they get to choose what design, what color that they want. So it's more fun. All right. Three best costume. Okay, so three best costume. Miku Chin. Miku Chin. Uh, is it Mika or Mia. Mia? Miku Chin is Mia, yeah? Okay, Mia Lam. Okay. Nico, which is a rider, right? And then? Jingwen. Kelly. Okay, congratulations to Mia, Ryder and Jingwen. So you won our best costume contest today. And how about Reader? Yeah, that is hard to decide. Okay, let's see. So many. Okay. <laughs> Too many responses, which is good, isn't it? <laughs> So, how many have you all decided to give away? Yeah, the most correct answers one, yeah? Stephanie Chua. Winon. Arlene. So, three? All right. Not correct. Oh dear. Yes. So all of you are good. Yeah. Uh, a lot of responses, a lot of engagement, um, a lot of participations. But we choose the best three, which is uh, the best three that answer the most and most correctly. All right. So Stephanie, Chua, Winon, and Arlene. Congratulations to the three of you. Um, you will also uh, get a Halloween box. With lots of treats, yeah, for you and of course for the kids to enjoy together. All right. So best costume again. I will repeat. Mia, the winners. Mia, Ryder, and Jingwen. As for readers, Stephanie, Chua, Winon, and Arlene. All right. Congratulations to the six of you. I hope uh, all of you have enjoyed today's session. Um, do drop by. I would love to see all of you because we have been seeing each other. Well. You have been seeing me online for the past few months, right? But I only have been seeing a few of you because you all actually came to our, our place. Yeah, so I get a chance to see you. But for the rest of you, 
um, who are very supportive um, and also um, very, very, how would I say, it? Um, uh, very close to us because uh, you have been with us for the past few months. I wish and hope that to see you all one day in person, right? So please come and visit us uh, anytime you can. And uh, of course, if let's say you want to come in here to have a session or two, let us know in advance so that we can block the time slot for you, right? Um, Facebook Live is going on, uh, even though with the physical classes, yeah, that uh, our operation has uh, resumed, but uh, we are still going to be um, conducting all this uh, Facebook Live as long as we have the support from all of you. Yeah, of course, it may or may not, well, we don't know what will happen in the future, right? So if let's say we have low response, we may consider to cancel it. But for now, we still have a lot of good responses from all of you, which uh, I personally uh, are very grateful. So we hope to see all of you again for many months to come or many years to come, yeah, whether physically or virtually. So um, as long as we have your support, we are going to continue to provide more um, content uh, for the Facebook Live using recyclable materials because at the end of the day, we want to teach the kids yeah, or our next generation or the generation after next uh, to live sustainably, yeah, to have a better lifestyle and to preserve our limited resources, natural resources that is. Yeah, so that is why it is important for them to actually learn from young uh, on how to actually live a lifestyle that is sustainable, right? Um, I will see you tomorrow for some of you. Otherwise, I will see you next month. Uh, it is going to be a wonderful month again yeah, with a lot of activities going on. So please make sure you join us every Saturday. Yeah, either it's 11 a.m. Most of the time now, um, we have set 11 a.m. Yeah, because we have seen a lot more responses and a lot more participations in the morning rather than in the afternoon. So that is why if you, if you notice, for the past two months, we have most of our Facebook Live in the morning. <laughs> yeah. If let's say you can't join us in the morning, you can actually watch the replay. It is always there, yeah, in our Facebook Live, all right, in our Facebook page. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow and the week, uh, the next, uh, the next Saturday or the many Saturdays to come. Hopefully, you enjoy the session. And uh, for those of you who are celebrating Halloween, happy Halloween in advance. And for those of you who are not, you still have a happy weekend. All right, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.